And here we're going to take a look at Grant Evans, and Grant is another D3 superstar that will head to D1 for post-grad, and he's a fantastic combination of strength, IQ, quickness with quick hands, and skill. And then on top of his ability at the X, he brings an offensive element that most face-off specialists certainly don't have, but Grant scored 70 points in his career while going 76% at the X, so quite the um, stats there to kind of back that up. And uh, we're going to go ahead and dive in with a few clips right on the draw, and then at the end we'll go ahead and uh, showcase some offensive clips as well. And here right away we're going to get a win to himself right over his right shoulder as an exit and then now he's going to get offensive and right here we get a bad sub right and in most instances he's probably able to live with this uh, getting to the box right there but Grant is one that you can't leave and so when you do this happens and he's able to just kind of step into space he's not really a trailer there but he's not really a cutter either kind of awkward but does a good job of handling it across his body and then finishing it. And then here we're going to go ahead and just watch another draw and a quick exit with a nice tight um, handle right there in space and traffic. And we're going to get another version of that uh, similar clip in a minute here. Um, this one is going to be another good one that I like here. Quick hands, he's explosive, he's strong, right? He's a good combination of both. He's not just relying on one or the other. And then here he does a good job of uh, winning that tie up using good technique and um Again, keeping his exits nice and clean and concise, not spitting that ball out 50 yards away and um, putting it to a spot where he can go and get it himself. And then, again, here we're going to see him in the white on the left side of your screen. And, again, like I said, he's, he does a really good job consistently relying on technique and, again, winning to himself most of the time, but in that instance, um, you know, gets his wing involved, and that's okay. You want to be able to rely on that. It's a unit thing, right? Don't always need to win to yourself, but he does a good job of typically eliminating the other team's abilities to let their wings get in there and get involved and impact the play. And again, you know, really quick hands there, good win, creates a break out of it. Um, and because he's such a threat to score on his own, almost every time defenses have to start to at least show whether they actually slide all the way, you know, is a little bit of a cat and mouse situation, but he does a good job reading it there and hitting the point. And then, again, we have lots of these Grove City versus Denison clips. These guys play each other twice. Two awesome games. Um, and so here we're going to see another one where I said um, he's going to keep this exit nice and tight. And here he's got a little bit of traffic. Boom, runs through it. No big deal. Keeps it nice and tight and concise. He wants to flip it to himself and keep it in the air as much as possible. But when he has to exit on the ground, too, it's no problem. And here we're going to see uh, an example of that, and as this wing on the close side collapses, he's going to do a really good job of handling that exit in pressure or through pressure and um, just running straight through it, right? Not letting that be disruptive. And so here he's going to rotate, exit right into that pressure, runs through it, handles that no problem, and then finds an outlet. So I really like that clip. That's one that, you know, when you exit in tight space like that, you got to be able to keep it concise and have a great handle. And Grant actually did the work for me on a few of these clips here, so we're going to watch him uh, show off some of his offensive ability. And right here, he's putting his shoulder in, he's dodging from X, right? And so, can't find a whole ton of face-off guys that can do that in the country. Here, he's finding a gap on the inside, handles the pressure from the pole, quick inside roll. Here, you get a loose ball situation, diving backhand goal. Right, and then this one, this is the best one. He's on EMO in this situation. This is a little earlier in his career, but here handles that on the back pipe, increases his angle, finishes with a nice little slick finish on the near side. So three really good clips there that I appreciate him doing the work for me for and finding. And um, again, like can't find too many faceoff guys with that type of skill and handle on top of their ability to go and win faceoffs, right? Some of them are going to be pretty skilled and some guys can win faceoffs, but the combination of the two is pretty unique. And like we said, his statistics are just off the charts in terms of 70 points in his career, and that's in uh, a 20 with a 2020 season that they just played four games, right? And so it's not a whole ton of games for him to reach that feat of 70 points. And then in that span, he also reach a face-off clip of 76 percent which is highlighted by a year that he went 80 percent so has done um, just about everything you can at the face-off x in terms of success there and has scored 70 points on top of it so really excited for grant at the next level at marquette and um, really excited to see how
how his game translates and if he can bring that offensive ability as well. And again, this isn't me saying that he's going to get there and be an offensive midfielder. This is just me saying that when he does get there, look for him to be able to create some offense that a lot of faceoff guys typically can't.